What is up, everybody? Yes, I'm doing this game for like the fifth time. I just love it so damn much. And I'm in a mood to play to play it, so... What the hell? I'm gonna play it. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with Link. tells us not to leave the house, of course we don't listen to him. So we have to make it to Hyrule Castle and find out what's going on with Zelda. And we find our first item of the game, the lamp. Okay, I gotta get used to this controller here. I remember seeing this rain for the first time and Whenever I first played this game back in like 91, 92, whenever it came out, I was really impressed. This could very well be my favorite game of all time. It either comes down to this game or uh, the original Zelda for Nintendo. It's hard for me to pick. Of course, the original was the first game I ever played, I think. Either that or the first Mario, uh, Super Mario Brothers. Oh, uh, there's my uncle. He teaches us how to do the spin attack, which was first introduced in this game. And he either dies or passes out, it's hard to tell. So he tells us to hold, what was it, B or A? I can't remember. I'm playing this on a uh, on the Wii U, so I'm using the ver uh, its version of the controller, uh, classic controller, so. With the Wii U controller, it's B, hold B, and then release, so. And a blue rupee which is uh, worth five. Green is worth one, and there's like a different, there's like a, a red one, which is, I think it's worth like 20. So into Hyrule Castle. And the first time I ever heard this Hyrule Castle theme, it's been in good bit of games after this game. It was in Wind Waker. Um, probably, I think, yeah, Twilight Princess. Uh, Minish Cap. And probably others I didn't play. Get the map. Press X to view it. Okay. X again to get rid of it. So we have to make it to the dungeon of the castle, which we're basically in now. I never understood why throwing a pot at a soldier is more uh, uh, is more deadly than using your sword. I'd figure getting stabbed by a sharp metal object would be more lethal, but I guess if you hit somebody in the head with a pot, but these guys have helmets on, so I don't know. Hey, 
And I also, I will be playing the original Zelda again, just because I'm in a mood. I'm like in an all-out Zelda mood. Ah, get off me. I will be... Damn it. I will be playing the, uh... By the way, we got our first key, and we got a the uh, original boomerang. There's a blue one, and then later on we'll get a magical one. But, uh... Yeah, I'll be playing the original Zelda, um, the way I play it normally. Like, I played it in my first playthrough. I went in order by levels. Um, I don't really do that whenever I play. So I'll be playing it uh, the way I usually play it, which I'll be doing that a little later. I just felt like playing this, so... That's why I'm recording it. And we get the big key. Yep, two different keys in this game. Small keys and big keys. Big keys unlock uh, big chest with usually it has the dungeon special item in it and the room. You'll see the uh, the keyhole, the doors that um, big keys unlock. Yes, I understand. Well, I actually heard, like, the background to that song. I never heard of that before. Maybe it's because I'm playing it on HDMI. I don't know. So we have to escort her back to the king's throne room. And then we're going to be on our way to the sanctuary. So we'll be continuing my Twilight Princess. I know I took like a four month absence or yeah, that was about it, four or five months from YouTube, absence from YouTube. Okay, secret passage in the throne room. So this is where we first entered the castle. Room below. We're just coming out on the other side. Alright, move it. Go from the left and move it to the right. And it's a secret door. Stupid rat. There we go. These torches only stay lit for a select amount of time. Then they go back out. Like that. Uh oh, ropes. AKA snakes. I assume they're called ropes in this game. It's a Zelda game, so probably called ropes. More ropes. And keys, bats. And a little bit of magic. Yeah, the magic bar is on the left, the green vertical bar. Got another key. Alright, close to the sanctuary.
Not gonna spend too much time in that room. Now I have to find a key in this room. Oh, there we go. Usually if you go to this corner, the rat with the keys right there. And you see a wall right there on the left. We're, we're gonna be able to use an item on it to actually, well, bombs and another item to dash into it to actually enter that room. I'll be doing that a little later. There's some nice things beyond that wall. There's another way to get into either or. Alright, Sanctuary is just beyond that door. Pull that switch over there. She doesn't specify. Is it this one? Nope. I still like to pull on that switch just so I can kill these ropes and get more rupees. Get a majority of hearts. You have to pull the lever, open the door, press A, and pull down on the control pad, or joystick. Can I kill this thing without dying? That is the question. And this is the priest that is, I guess, runs the sanctuary. So we have to seek the elder that has information. And we get our first heart container in that chest. Okay. Seek the elder of find out about the Master Sword. Yes, this was the first game that the Master Sword was introduced. And usually, I usually just go right, I usually just go east, but since I want to do this right, I'm going to go west to Kakariko Village. If you blow up your map with X, the overworld map, you see an X right there. This is Kakariko Village, and actually the first um, dungeon or temple is right there, kind of in the middle of the screen. I usually head there first, but... I'll do this right, and I'll go to Kakariko first. This is also the first time Kakariko was even, like, mentioned, so there's a lot of firsts in this game that shapes the series. Oh, that's messed up. Link is not a criminal who kidnapped the princess. Okay, so this is where the X was at. Sleeping in the forest, okay. Look for the other, there must be someone in the village you know where, knows where he's at. So I'll actually go to the person who knows where he's at. If you talk to this lady right here, she'll summon a guard, I'll show it. She thinks you're a criminal who kidnaps Zelda, whatever. And there's a lady on the opposite side of town, the west side of town, that'll do the same thing. So, let's see, yeah, it's this kid right here, 
Talking about the the grandpa. Grammar's a little messed up. Okay, so he remarks your map. And there's the elder right on that X. Close to the um, first dungeon. Temple, whatever. Okay. First thing I want to do is head in here. This is like the bar or something, I don't know. There's a back way inside, and we get our first bottle! And a chicken. A cuckoo. And if we go straight up from here into this house, we see a child sleeping in a bed. And apparently, he's sick. Caught this cold from the evil air that's coming down off the mountain. Yeah, so he loans us his bug catching net, and this net catches a lot of stuff like fairies, and, and then after that we put the fairies uh, in the bottles that we collect. Now some, in some houses, this Mario painting right here, if we hold, is it A, and pull, sometimes we can get uh, rupees, but not in this house. This guy runs away from you. Let's go in this lady's house. There's nothing I can do now, but you can bomb this. I'll have to come back once I get up some bombs. Bunch of chickens in her house. Well, hell, I know where to get bombs. Let me see if I can collect some rupees. I want to get up to 100. Okay, there's that lady right there that'll call the guard on me. So I'm gonna avoid her. Oh, a fairy. Oh, nice. Oh, hitting the wrong button. Alright, let's... Jeez. This is gonna take me a while. And then watch, she's gonna disappear. Yep. Me pissed around too long, that's what'll happen. Let's go in her house before, uh, yeah, we, we can actually go in her house, but I don't think there's anything useful, just chicken. Alright, well, I'm just out about, I'm just out of time, so I'll just meet you back here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.